Today you're going to see an absolute roller coaster of games for Rochdale. We get up, we're battling for first place, and something crazy happens at the end that you have to see. But first, make sure you hit that subscribe button because your support here helps Rochdale perform even better in the season. I don't know how, but it happens. So we are coming in hot and heavy in this first match up against Barrow. This is the battle for first place. We need to bring the biscuits to them because they're currently on 73 points to our 72. We're going to put the best lineup that we can out there and hope that we can get a dub. Let's get into it. No, but like a goose holds it up, finds Tullock. Can we see Carlos in some space? Oh, what a good header from distance! From distance! I need Tull again. Wow, he should not have won that. A good overall first half. I will absolutely take that one. Great showing from Bourgeois, List, Rodriguez. Everybody's playing well. Santos is holding it down in the back line. Come on. Corner is going in. Clear it out. There we are. Auguste. Can you find List? Oh, what a ball. What a ball. What a ball. What a ball. What a play. Oh my God. Is there something that he can't do? Is there anything Bourgeois can't do? Oh, the Rochdale faithful are loving it. This is how you get into first. Come on. Come on, Rochdale. Two nil victory at home against Barrow solidify our place in first spot in first place we are now up by uh, two points on them huge absolutely massive game fantastic playing from elliot list from bourgeois sinclair played well carlos had a solid day kawan nezovich santos Ricky, ochoa everybody played fantastic from the, the back end only one save and it wasn't even on target well, one save, one target. It was going away. It was going off, but he saved it. Next game coming up here against Stevenage. They're currently in 20th to our first place. We have a little injury to Bourgeois. He's only out five days, though, so thankfully just a little bruise on his shoulder. But Elliot List is going to come in and replace him with Tyrese Sinclair over on the other striker spot. We're going to switch them around and call that good. Let's hop into it. Elliot List finesse in the corner. I was not, I really had to focus there. I did not know what I was doing. I didn't think I was going to get that in, but great finesse into the bottom right corner. And Rochdale concedes the penalty here. Let's see. Oh, they want James Ball to take it against his former team. And he nets it. Damn. Feels bad. Another penalty here for Rochdale. Who should we give this to? I'm thinking it's going to be Elliot List. To cap off his great episode today. Ooh, and I spoke too soon. <laughs> and Rochdale ends up drawing. So we might be in a little bit of danger depending on how we might end up being tied for first place. So let's go look at the table. We are currently still in first and it looks like Barrow has had quite the, the run of losses here. They're still on 73 points. Mansfield down is coming up, creeping up on us there at 74, but we got to get a win against Northampton and try to really seal this. You know, I really pissed those people off because they wanted him for 310. I came back with 360 and they were like, fine, 340, we'll give you. And we ended up at 350, so I was not taking anything and huge dub in my book. We need this. Come on, Elliot. Oh. Easy. <laughs> Rochdale survives thanks to a penalty from Elliot List. Guillermo Ochoa, man of the match today, maybe Elliot List. We held possession really well. We can't do that when I play because I stink. But it also looks like Mansfield Town lost, so we'll end up getting a little bit of breathing room from them. And that's absolutely huge. Salford ended up drawing, it looks like. They're two games, so they are three points behind us. We are starting to slowly separate, and this is getting massive. We are now coming down to the home stretch of the season. We've got one more game this month against Walsall, and then we are uh, home against Lane Orient, and we get our final match against Gillingham. This is going to be a crazy, crazy, really like a sprint to the end. This is going to be a sprint to the end because 
I don't want to give up first place, and I want to get up into the EFL League One. Come on, Rochdale. And we see Richard O'Donnell's transfer here coming through. 350000 out, which is absolutely massive. Give us the A. We got it. We bargained for him. 350k, the best possible deal. Come on, let's go. How did Boris and Nelson get beat up this bad? Oh no. He's gonna hold it up. Memo. No, Memo Ochoa. And that's gonna be the end of the game. A brutal loss here suffered by Rochdale. We get bailed out because Mansfield Town was so far behind us. They ended up winning, but Salford City, it looks like they ended up drawing. So they're still only, they're only two points away. And we've got to we've got to lock it in. Next match against Leighton Orient here. We're only going to play the highlights, so it might be a bit risky, but we need to come in come in hard. Pause, and we need to be able to score a couple goals so that we can extend our lead and make sure we have first place wrapped up because it is a sprint down to the end. We ended up putting Jim McNulty into the lineup here, since it's towards the end of the season, and I'm pretty sure he's retiring. So. Hopefully he gets a couple couple games in here before retirement. And that's not a great start for Rochdale. Oh boy. <laughs> Harry Smith. Oh, 2-0 Leighton. And Rochdale ends up losing that. We are not playing well. <laughs> oh, and Mansfield won. Oh boy. Oh, we're in second place to Mansfield. Oh, not good. <laughs> Final game of the season here against Gillingham. We need a win more than anything, but I've got to play McNulty and Diogoraga for their last game here with Rochdale. Oh, this is not good. This should not be coming down this close. Beautiful day here at Crown Oil Arena. Rochdale is looking to take the win, take the three points, get into first place. Jim McNulty sitting there with Captain Band, his last game, retiring. Memo Cho has been fantastic. We need Jim to come up huge. I don't need to begin explaining how big this game is. If we win, Rochdale is league to champion. Mansfield Town sitting up at 80 points. They ended up drawing and Rochdale, if we get the win, we get the title. Here we are. Tullock, 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 Tullock. Make it do Tullock. Come on. Could be a title winning goal, Tullock. Come on. This is the craziest game I've ever played in. <laughs> oh. One no Rochdale, come on, keep it locked in. No, and they level it up. Oh no. Find him, Carlos. Tyrese, put us up in the victory formation. Tyrese! Come on. 2 1 Rochdale right after halftime. Now let's hold this win. Let's hold this lead and get the freaking victory. Come on. My hands are sweaty. Palms are sweaty. My knees are weak if I'd be standing. My arms are heavy. Mommy's spaghetti. <laughs> That's hilarious. List. It doesn't matter. He got another one. Come on. <laughs> oh, 3-1 Rochdale. Come on. 56 minutes in. Tyrese. Two for him, 4-1 Rochdale. Gillingham doesn't stand a chance. They wanted to keep it close, they kept it close at halftime, but our offense is just too much. Oh, can we get more? Find him. Elliot List, oh my gosh, it's an onslaught. Oh. Oh, and he kicks it. The dynamic duo 
does it again. Championship winning? And I'm assuming, unfortunately, since we did not see a title celebration, we did not win the League 2. Mansfield Town won. Oh, that's brutal. That's heartbreaking. <sighs> oh, heartbreak from the Rochdale faithful. Only 82 points. We were one point short. We needed that. We needed the draw against Leighton Orient. We needed something against them. And we probably should have played that game. We get 1 million euros as a reward for completing the League 2. We end up getting additional money, and we're going to use that to bring in Femi Suriki full time. And 20% sell on? I'm just going to accept that. Femi Suriki. Welcome aboard full time, buddy. The only person of note in this round of scouting is Afonso Castro for the goalkeeper position. 350k value, up to 94 is his possible potential. We'll sign him and probably end up letting go of a couple of the other youth guys. And this is huge because Siriki ended up accepting the offer. Four years, we're going to accept the player in. Absolute massive transfer in 1.35 million euros. Wanted 2.2, his value was at 2.2. Didn't see the rating, it's an A, which is huge. Ben Nelson and Rayon Tolux's loans have expired along with Tumani Diaguraga and Guillermo Ochoa. They will not be joining us again for next year. Rich O'Donnell is leaving us. And Jim McNulty is retiring. Thank you for your service, it has been a wonderful season. Glad you almost got the championship on your way out, but unfortunately we could not make it happen. Other than that, we've got a really good squad going into the next season, so I will see you there. Here we are right at the new season, but that is going to be it for today's episode. I hope you had a great time. A very roller coaster of emotion there at the end. Very bummed that we didn't end up coming in first place. Thank you for tuning in. Please leave a like, leave a subscription. I hope you had a good time. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you for tuning in. And as always, up the Rochdale, but slightly less than the last episode because we only came in second place. But still up the Roch.